Hello there and welcome back once again to Southern TV where we go above and beyond to find the trendiest stories surrounding the South African borders and share them with you. Now before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to turn on that notification bell so you can get all of the recent updates. Now let's get started. In a recent statement, ANC Secretary General Fikile Mbalula expressed his concern over the deteriorating state of the city of Johannesburg, describing it as a collapsed municipality. However, he was quick to assert that the ANC was not to blame for the current challenges faced by the city. Balula reminisced about a time when Johannesburg was considered a world-class city with effective governance. He highlighted the previous success of the Johannesburg Roads Agency under ANC leadership. However, he lamented that the city has now reached a point where homeless individuals are directing traffic due to malfunctioning traffic lights exacerbated by the impact of load shedding. The Secretary General criticized the current administration for lacking contingency measures to manage traffic during load shedding, emphasizing that the government of Johannesburg had effectively collapsed. Balula argued that the deteriorating situation was not the fault of the ANC but rather attributed it to the challenges posed by a collision governance. According to Mbalula, the ANC, as part of a collision governing Johannesburg, lacks control over key aspects of the city's functioning. He claimed that the ANC only has authority over fund disembarrassment while transportation is under the control of the Patriotic Alliance. This statement contradicts the fact that the ANC is part of the coalition and had engaged in discussions with other parties, including Al Jama and the EFF, to take control of the city. Despite being part of the collision, Balula distanced the ANC from its responsibility of Johannesburg's current state and blamed the instability on the collision system itself. He specifically pointed out that the ongoing leadership changes and disputes over jurisdiction have contributed to the city's challenges. Malula took a swipe at the city of Johannesburg's leader, accusing them of engaging in internal squabbles, the territorial disputes with gouting Premier Panyaza Sufi. He highlighted an incident related to an explosion on Bree Street, suggesting that the infighting among leaders hindered effective response and attention to critical issues, including public safety. Furthermore, Mbalula dismissed the EFF as an official collision partner of the ANC, hinting at the ANC's intention to announce its stance on collisions at a later stage. Despite the acknowledgement of collision challenges, Mbalula concluded that collisions were not working for the ANC, emphasizing the need for stability in Johannesburg's governance. All in all, Fikile Mbalula's statement underscores the complex dynamics of collision politics in Johannesburg, with blame shifting between parties and concerns raised about the impact of the city's infrastructure and services. Thank you once again for being part of Southern TV. Be sure to leave your comment down in the comment section below and stay tuned for more updates.